Welcome to Kesselhaus Berlin, where I have a soil work with me, or one part of soil work. Uh, well, first of all, how is soil work circa 2019 doing? Uh, doing very well, I must say. Um, have a new album out, came out just, what is it, a week ago? One and a half, yeah, yeah. something like that. So it's yeah, exciting stuff. times and we embarked on this tour right when the album came out. So it was it was really cool to uh, perform the new songs and uh, we didn't play any shows last year. So it was it was nice to get back on stage again. So we're 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 doing we're doing just fine. Okay, so uh, yeah, you have been playing sold out gigs uh, all over Europe now. So how has the tour been for you? Uh, really well. I mean, it's uh, it's an amazing package or lineup to begin with, you know. And uh, I think it's about time that we tour with Amorphous. It's been uh, at least ten years, so um, you know we definitely have uh, you know sort of like a melodic language in, in in common. I would say you know it's still different expressions, but you know there are some common things you know in in, in our music. And um, yeah, I think I think it's great. And then also, obviously, with with Ginger and, and Nail to Obscurity, I think it's a perfect lineup, and the timing is right. And um, yeah, I mean, the crowds have been absolutely insane. So I have I have nothing to complain about whatsoever. Okay, and uh, what kind of touring company are Amorphis and, for example, Ginger? You are sharing a. A bus with uh, Amorphis, yeah. if I'm not mistaken. So, uh, what kind of touring company are those bands? <laughs> well, uh, I think we get along just fine, uh, <laughs> right? <laughs> uh, yeah. No, I mean, it's. Uh, I think it's been a really, really good vibe uh, on, on the bus, and um, some late nights here and there, and and you know, I guess that's what we expected. But we're sort of in the same age I guess you know so I think we sort of understand each other and we're sort of on the same level of things so it's been working out really good and you already mentioned playing the new song so how has the crowd reacted to the new songs played live well I mean especially the um, the single Stolfogel has been working out really well live and um, also nurturing glance so, uh, I mean, overall, the new songs work out really, really well live. And a lot of people seem to know the lyrics already, even though the album came out like 10 days ago. So it's really cool to see. Oh, yeah. And the uh, new album that we have been talking about, of course, uh, Berlikheten, mm. uh, just came out earlier this month, whether mm. it's uh, one week or two weeks ago. But yeah. <laughs> yeah. So what are your own thoughts about the album Press Out of Press? Well, I mean, now we have some distance to it. Uh, you know, when you record the album and, and you're, you know, sending mixes back and forth, you're you're way too deep into the whole thing to sort of get a overall picture. I mean, I, I knew we had something good, but I think you need some distance to it. And I also think that everything becomes sort of full circle when you perform the actual songs live. You know, we're not playing every song on the album, but you know, then you sort of get a picture of, you know, the general vibe of the album. And, and I mean, we're really happy with it. And, and, you know, people are just raving about it, it seems like. So, yeah, it's really cool. Yeah, it was not exactly your first rodeo, but uh, no. how was the experience of recording this album? I think uh, we did it sort of old school style uh, for this album. We, we got together in a studio for six weeks and we were all there together, you know, cooking, drinking and recording an album together, um, which we haven't really done in a while. You know, it's usually, you know, one guy coming in, you know, doing his stuff and then leaves and it's not really the same vibe. So that's what we wanted to do for this album and I think you can hear it too you know we were sort of living and breathing this album for six weeks together and and uh, a lot of sort of spontaneous stuff happened in the studio like you know experimentation so yeah I think we definitely captured the the, the magic with this album okay anything you wanna elaborate on on that something special happened well, uh, during the recordings <clears throat> it was actually a lot of percussion 
happening <laughs> in, in you know early morning percussion. Uh, I was usually at sleep, uh, you know, sleeping at that time, but uh, some of the guys stayed up, and we decided to add percuss percussion just about on every song. And some of it, some of it, you're able to hear, and some of it is sort of more. You need to listen to the album a bunch of times to sort of discover it. But it, it, it added another dimension, I think, to to the album as well. So it's, it's really cool. And um, the intro of the album was recorded like four in the morning, and I wasn't even aware that it was happening. And I woke up, and and the other guys like, oh, you need to listen to the intro of the album. It's like, what? You guys recorded an intro? It's like, yeah, we did. It's like, and and. Uh, yeah, there's also the first thing you hear on the album is this this cork coming out with delay, and it's our favorite booze, Gamaldansk. So that's the first thing you hear on the album. So that's a little, yeah, that was cool. But it, it's it's a beautiful intro. It's almost like a Scandinavian spaghetti western intro somehow, and it, it works really well. Uh, yeah, yeah, and uh, well, what's the plan for the rest of the year then? Um, lots of touring and festivals, I believe. Yeah, a lot of festivals. Um, so we're going to have a little bit of a break after this tour, um, and then a bunch of festivals, and we'll see. We're looking at you know some some tours or shows in in the fall as well, but we're sort of approaching things. Uh, sort of slowly you know we we want to pick our battles with this album as well okay and uh, for future uh, are you planning on doing more things in Swedish or um, what's the idea for um, or do you hard to say I mean that, that was an idea that came up like three years ago it's like um, the guitarist said we should totally name an album Vaklihet. And it's like, at, at the time, it was just like, oh, yeah, I don't know. You know, it seemed weird. And then it came up again for this album, and it just seemed like the perfect fit because of the, you know, especially with a Scandinavian melodic language running through the album. You know, and, and it seemed like the perfect title. But I don't know if we're going to, you know, who knows what the new... I mean, I had a title actually in mind. I'm not going <laughs> to mention it to you. Uh, the other night, Darn. which is in, in, in Swedish. It's like, oh, next album should be called this, but I don't know. We'll see. Okay, so how do you see the band's evolution from, you know, starting out in 95, you know, mm. for example, to tonight here in Berlin? Yeah, that's a long journey, yeah. you know, and, and I think the Amorphous guys can relate too. They've been around for even longer than that, you know, um, so it's... Um, I don't know. I, I'm I'm starting to get some kind of perspective on the whole thing, and it's it's kind of weird how everything happened. You know, it's, suddenly it's 20 years later, and um, I think I think we've been very good at um, you know evolving and and uh, developing our sound, and and I think we're you know it's an old cliche and you know staying true to the roots, whatever that means. But I think you know, I think we're we might be one of the few bands from 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 that Swedish scene coming out in the mid 90s late 90s that sort of still have that that sound but we managed to sort of develop it in a very interesting way you know yeah and you know the new album was uh, if i'm not mistaken the 11th full length album yeah you have put out so yeah so um is there uh, some kind of plans to, you know, document the the years in uh, like a book or? Uh... Ooh, yeah, <laughs> I don't know. Um, I mean, it, it's it, last year it was 20 years anniversary for you know Steel Bath Suicide coming out in '98, and we didn't do anything. And I guess we're we're one of those sort of stubborn bands that don't want to celebrate or do whatever is expected of us you know and and which is kind of silly in a way because i mean we should we should be celebrating i guess but you know but there's so much of that stuff around too you know a lot of bands are expected to play their classics in its in its entirety and i think it should be enough with just a new album and i think that's also one thing that this tour proves you know we have amorphous with a really strong album and also soul work with a strong album and you know that's it we're you know of course we're performing old songs as well but it's it should be enough when one out like a new album and not just you know having to perform a classic in its entirety to to pull people and i think that's what this tour shows too 
Well, amen to that, and yeah. thank you so much. Thank and, you. Uh, break a leg tonight.